Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be going from Noob to Pro as Choso Camo in Jujutsu Infinite Update 4. But before starting this video guys, I do want to say that I'm trying to reach 5,000 subscribers. So make sure you smash the subscribe button and get me to 5k. So yeah guys, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, as you can see, we are in Jujutsu Infinite's main menu. And yeah, in today's video, we're going to be going from a noob all the way to Pro as Choso Camo. So yeah, first thing first, we do need to get a new character slot. So let's go do that real quick. There we go purchase has succeeded okay so we're gonna be using slot 22 let's go on to customize and yeah now we have to roll for his innate which is gonna be blood manipulation so let's go ahead and do that and there we go guys as you can see we did get blood manipulation For some reason that took us quite a while i don't know why but yeah let's go on to finish and let's go on and load in and yeah guys as you can see we have the choice of fit this is how we're looking like we look pretty nice look at the uniform um i don't know what's going on with my face but i don't know that's doing that but yeah guys let's go ahead and actually start progressing so as you guys can see they reworked the missions list and yeah this is completely different now you got the zen forest set snow set and the shadow set and if you don't like the missions you can actually reroll them just like this so yeah everything about missions is completely different now they also removed the star plasma mission and the deliver the crate so yeah that's gone but yeah guys let's go ahead and unlock our first move so if we go to stats guys and innate we can go our first skill right over here blood manipulation blood disc and it says throw a spinning disc made of hardened blood capable of ripping through whatever it touches so yeah let's unlock that there we go and let's equip that go to innate put it to Z. and yeah let's go ahead and test this move out and for our first quest i think i'm gonna do this one right here exercise and yeah let's go ahead and teleport okay so you have to exercise this big curse spirit right over here look how huge it is okay let's go and use blood disc let's see Ooh, yo, that's like the Shocto disc. So basically, I throw out this disc and it comes back later. And yeah, it looks like it combo sense because it does come back. Let's go and do this one more time. M1, 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 let's use it. As you can see, I throw it, comes back. And yeah, it does combo sense just like that. Okay, that's actually nice. And it has some range to it as well. So that's a long range moves and it combo sense. That's insane. Now, I'm pretty sure it does bleed damage. Well, it should do. Like, what? If it doesn't do bleed damage, that's kind of dumb. Let's go and use it. Does it do bleed damage? I don't think it does. I don't see any bleed damage. I don't think it does bleed damage, not gonna lie. That's dumb as hell, but okay. But yeah, not bad for first move. Literally, long range, combo extends, and has a pretty good hitbox as well. It does decent damage. I think it did like 20 damage-ish. But yeah, keep in mind I have no stat points or any accessories equipped. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the first move, guys. Now I'm gonna kill this cursed spirit, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, as you can see, we didn't actually kill the cursed spirit. And yeah, we did get to level 3. And yeah, let's go to teleport back. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for the first skill overall pretty good i love the long range and how it combo extends but yeah if we go to sheba guys to promote a grade we do need to be level 60 and our next skill guys is going to be blood manipulation blood bind so i do need 40 mastery for that so yeah i'll be right back once i have unlocked that all right guys as you can see i am level 60 so yeah let's go ahead and talk to sheba and yeah we can promote our grade now so there we go we are finally being promoted to a grade for sorcerer just like that and yeah we did get the free usual items so let's go to inventory equip best gear there we go and yeah now we can get our next skill which is blood bind let's look at that and yeah it says shoot tendrils of blood that bind and immobilize the target and anyone caught in the surrounding area so let's go ahead and go to skills equip that to x and yeah let me invest some stat points so i can actually do some damage so i think for this build i'm gonna go mainly into technique and strength I might go a little bit into health so I don't die that fast, but I won't begin RCT because obviously Choso doesn't have that. But yeah, let's go ahead and unlock strength. There we go. Let's go ahead and get triple kick and uplift. And yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. And yeah, let's go ahead and showcase this new move. So let's go ahead and reroll. Okay, I don't want to exercise another spell. I want to kill a curse user. Nope. Okay, here we go. Kill a curse user. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, let's go ahead and block. M1, M1, M1. Let's use the move. Bloodbind. Oh, damn, that was huge. That AOE effect thingy was huge. Oh, my God. And, yeah, it looks like I, like, shot these projectiles and he literally got stunned. We're gonna have to use that move again. Now, the move does look like you can use it from long range. So, yeah, I wanna actually test that out. So, let's use it from, like, here. Would I get him? Oh, no, he phased through it. What the hell? That's dumb. But, yeah, you can use it from long range because it did still go there. That's insane. Alright, guys, let's go and use Bloodbind again. So, let's rush. M1, 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 knock him back. Okay, let's see if that works. Yeah, that works. 117 damage. Oh, my God. And, yeah, as you can see, he does get stunned. He can't block, though. But you can just guard break him and then combo extend. So, yeah, that move is pretty nice. Combo extends. It slows your enemy down as well. It leaves him, like, stunned. And it is long range as well. That range is actually nice. And, yeah, it has a pretty huge hitbox as well. It can hit multiple opponents. 
But yeah, that's going to be it for the second move, guys. And yeah, if we go over to Shiba and click on Promote Grade, we do need to be level 120 to become a Grade 3 Sorcerer. And if we go to your next, guys, our next skill is going to be right here, Piercing Blood. So yeah, guys, I'll be right back once I can get those moves. Alright, guys, as you can see, we are level 120. So yeah, let's go ahead and go to Shiba and Promote Grade. There we go. And yeah, we are being promoted to Grade 3 Sorcerer now. And yeah, let's go ahead and get our next skill right over here, Piercing Blood. And it says, uses your hands to compress a large volume of blood into a single point forcing it disperse at a lethal velocity that's pretty nice and yeah let's go ahead and get some more strength so i'm gonna get eagle style there we go increase our strength a little bit more get rust mastery and increase our strength again and yeah i'll leave it at that for now but yeah let's go and test out this new move so i'm gonna do a capture mission i've never done that let's go and do this okay we just put in so yeah let's go and capture this point and yeah let's go and use it right now Ooh, okay. So literally, that move is just a projectile. And yeah, it literally just pisses the body. So yeah, let's go and use this again. Oh my god, there's so many mobs. God damn. Let's use it again. As you can see, just shoot out this blood thingy. And yeah, instant kills. Now, it has a lot of range to it as well. That's pretty nice. Let me dash up a little bit. Let's use it. As you can see, look at that range. That is amazing. And yeah, literally, all that move is just a little projectile. And I think it does combo extend. Let's go and try that out. Okay, M1, M1, M1. Let's use it. There we go. M1, M1, M1. Okay, yeah, it does combo extend. Oh my god, that is crazy. So it's long range and it combo extends. And I think it has a huge hitbox as well. Let me see. Let's go and dash back. Let's use it. Yeah, it has a pretty big hitbox. So if I use it here, that's still gonna hit them. Okay, that's actually nice. I'm just gonna use it one more time. There we go. And yeah, when you use it, it does actually make you like jump backwards. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, not bad for third skill. As you can see, we didn't manage to do the mission. And yeah, let's go and teleport back. So yeah, guys, Piercing Blood is actually very nice, bro. This move is actually good. Like, considering this is like a rare innate, and this is actually promising. Like, this isn't even that bad. But yeah, guys, even talk to Shiba to promote that grade, we do need to be level 180. And our next skill, guys, is going to be right here, Flowing Red Scale. And yeah, we do need Mastery 120 to get that. So yeah, guys, I'll be right back once I am grade 2. Alright, guys, as you can see, we are level 180. So yeah, let's go to talk to Shiba and let's promote our grade. And yeah, as you can see, we are being promoted to a grade 2 Sorcerer. There we go. And yeah, let's go ahead and go to Stats, Innate, and let's unlock our new moves. So our next skill, guys, is going to be Flowing Red Scale. And it says, upon activation, the use increases blood composition in order to give themselves greatly increased energy and physical abilities so yeah this looks like it's like a transformation or something but yeah let's unlock that there we go and yeah let's go to equip that to v and yeah let's go ahead and test it out okay so i'm gonna kill a curse user let's go to teleport all right guys as you can see with this one in and yeah let's go ahead and go to our opponent uh what the hell is he bugged inside the wall god damn it bro what is wrong with this game okay he's out there we go oh my god that was so weird but yeah let's go ahead and go rush and one and one let's use it Oh, okay, yeah, I was right. It's a transformation. Yo, look at this aura. Hold on, let me block this real quick. Oh, can I breathe? Please, let me showcase this aura, please. Thank you. Oh, gonna block again. And we're, and we're knocking back. I right, look at this aura. This aura is so clean. God damn. And yeah, I think it said plus damage and like some other boost. And yeah, literally, it's just a transformation, bro. You just boost your damage and I think cooldown. Just stuff of that nature, basically. So yeah, that's pretty much all that does. Literally, a transformation. You just buff yourself. Now, the thing is, this does not last that long though like compared to sukuna transformation and even toji's this does not last that long like bloodlust and demon vessel switch is so much more longer this one only that's like what 20 seconds it makes sense though because it is a rare nate so yeah that's probably why but yeah let's go ahead and kill this curse user there we go and yeah let's go to teleport back and yeah that was a very quick showcase so yeah that's pretty much all what that move does literally just buff yourself but yeah if we go with the sheep guys two per mile grade we need to be level 240 and if we go with the test guys and innates our last and final skill is going to be right here supernova so yeah i'm just going to come back once i am level 420 and a special grade sorcerer and then i'm going to showcase the final skill and end the video off with a toji boss fight so yeah guys i'll be right back all right guys it has been a while since i last recorded and yeah finally i am a special grade sorcerer and yeah as you can see i am level 400 20 so yeah we are fully maxed out but yeah guys if you go to stats and in as you can see we can get our last skill supernova and it says explode all blood orbs near the user upon activation acting as a combo extender let's unlock that and yeah let's go to equip that to b there we go but before you showcase this move guys i do want to show the build i went for so i mainly went into strength as you can see i basically fully maxed out strength and i put a lot of stats into technique and then some into hp but yeah guys let's go ahead and showcase this move so let's kill a curse user 
Mother. And yeah, let's teleport. Okay, so the move Supernova says that it explodes any blood orbs around him. So to actually like summon the blood orbs, I actually have to do some blood manipulation moves. So if I rush and I use like blood disc right over here, as you can see, he has like two red orbs around him. And yeah, if I rush again and use blood bind this time, it's gonna spawn more red orbs. Yeah, as you can see, I think he has three now. Yeah, he has three. So yeah, that's how you spawn the red orbs. Literally, you gotta do damage with your blood moves. And if I and one of you supernova, as you can see, they just exploded. So yeah, that's how that move works. So obviously, the more red orbs, the more damage it does. And vice versa as well. So I'm gonna use like all my blood moves and just stack up on so many like red orbs real quick. Okay, just a blood blind. Okay, yeah, he has a lot of red orbs now. And yeah, this move can actually be chanted. So I'm gonna do it now. There we go. As you can see, instantly died. And yeah, that move is actually very good. Because the thing with that move, you can use it far away as well. Like, you don't have to be close to actually, like, detonate the red orbs. And the move can be chanted as well. So yeah, when you chant it, obviously more damage. Stuff like that. So yeah, that move is actually not bad if you're smart with it. But yeah, let's go to teleport back, guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the showcase, guys. Now, I'm going to attempt to do the Toji boss raid by myself. I am going to be doing Nightmare difficulty. And yeah, let's go ahead and attempt this boss. Alright, guys. I I have no idea how this is gonna go considering i have blood manipulation a rare innate this is probably gonna go bad i would be surprised if i win i really don't think i'm gonna win but there you go this button let's go and dodge that there we go let's go to rush m1 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 blood disc m1 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 blood bind there we go okay now i need to dodge this oh that okay i guess i didn't dodge that's dumb bro okay this is easy to dodge dodge that okay i'm gonna go my transformation thingy go to rush oh he's not even done okay dodge all of this okay let's go and go here there we go but this nice m1 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 piss and blood there we go m1 m1 okay i'm gonna dodge that there we go oh that was close I'm not gonna lie that was close okay let's go to detonate the blood supernova damn that did a thousand damage gang that move is not a joke oh my god that move is actually good damn bro if you suck up on so many blood orbs that is insane damage right there this is piss and blood m1 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 uplift triple kick there we go that's out okay dodge what that still hit me um okay okay not this move gotta dodge please bro okay dodge that there we go this is blood this piss and blood okay we're gonna do chanted supernova there we go 886 damage okay dodge this nice gonna rush m1 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 uplift m1 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 triple kick m1 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 axe smash we're doing that damage we're actually doing quite good to be fair okay i think he went stage two we'll see yeah he's in stage two now okay please no stop stop block 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 there we go we did the blocks okay m1 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 piss of blood no touch oh that was close okay let's go to rush m1 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 try to supernova there we go Triple kick. Dodge that. Do we dodge it? Yes, we dodge. Okay. We're chilling. Uh, where'd he go? There he is. M1, 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 blood disc. M1, 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 blood bind. M1, 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 piss and blood. Transform. Okay, this is easy. Dodge that. Okay, do we have to parry check again? Nope, not yet. Okay. Let me use blood disc. Dodge this. Go ahead and rush. M1, M1, M1. Chanted supernova. M1, 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 piss and blood. He's so low, bro. We got this. Triple kick. M1, M1, M1. Block. No, 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 no. Block, block. No, we died. Oh my god, bro. Bro, yeah, this was hard, bro. Because this innate is not good. Like, it's not limitless, bro. This isn't heavily restricted. This isn't Sukuna's innate. But, hey, we actually did quite good. We actually did quite good. We were so close. We almost did do it, to be fair. But, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And, yeah, peace out.